Hi everyone! Welcome to HSE Nation. In this safety talk, we'll be covering a critical safety topic, the storage and handling of compressed gas cylinders. Proper management of these cylinders is vital to maintaining a safe workplace. Let's dive into the essential guidelines and precautions. Compressed gas cylinders contain gases under high pressure and can pose significant risks if not handled and stored correctly. Improper handling can lead to leaks, explosions, fires, or toxic exposure. It's crucial to follow established protocols to ensure everyone's safety. Identification and inspection. Marking and labeling. All compressed gas cylinders must be properly marked or labeled with their contents in English or any other common language of the workforce. The supplier's identification tag should be verified against the cylinder contents. Regular inspection cylinders should be inspected for damage, corrosion, valve leakage, and the current hydro test date before each use. Damaged or defective cylinders must not be used. Handling guidelines. Slow valve operation. Always open the cylinder valve slowly to prevent damage to the regulator. Valves should not be opened more than 1.5 turns. Regulator use. Ensure an approved pressure-reducing regulator with a check valve is connected to the cylinder valve. Regulators should be closed prior to connection and the cylinder valve closed before attempting to stop a leak. No lubricants. Do not use oil, grease, or other hydrocarbons as lubricants on valves, fittings, or threaded attachments. Storage requirements. Safe and accessible locations. Cylinders should be stored in a dry, well-ventilated area prepared for that purpose. Bulk storage should be kept off-site and the quantity of cylinders at job sites to a minimum. Segregation. Oxygen cylinders and other oxidizers must be stored at least 6.1 meters or 20 feet away from flammable gas cylinders or be separated by a fire-rated barrier at least 1.5 meters or 5 feet high. Temperature control. Ensure cylinders are not stored in locations where temperatures can exceed 54 degree C or 130 degree F. Protective enclosures or sun shelters should be installed as needed. Important safety measures. No smoking, smoking, and other ignition sources are strictly prohibited near storage areas. Prominent no smoking and gas cylinder storage area signs should be displayed in English or any other common language of the workforce. Fire extinguishers. Water and dry chemical fire extinguishers must be available within 15 meters or 50 feet of the storage area. Securing cylinders. All cylinders must be secured in an upright position using chains or bottle racks wherever possible. Cylinders stored outdoors should be protected from direct contact with the ground and extreme weather. Transportation? Use proper equipment. Cylinder trolleys, material baskets, and cylinder racks should be used for transportation. Vehicles transporting cylinders must have the required firefighting and first aid equipment on board. Valve caps and positioning. During transport, cylinders should have valve caps in place. Be positioned upright and be firmly secured to prevent movement. Handling during use. Protective measures. Never lift a cylinder by its valve. Always ensure the protective cap is on the valve when the cylinder is not in use and the valve is fully closed before moving the cylinder. Training. Personnel handling toxic gas cylinders should be well trained in the hazards and controls. Adhering to these safety practices when handling and storing compressed gas cylinders is essential for preventing accidents and ensuring a safe working environment. Remember, safety isn't just a priority, it's a responsibility. Stay safe.